If you're coming on in, you know what to do. Please put a like on this video. We're gonna be going into the grid collapse. Yes, you heard that right. But there's a new grid coming in. It's our ancient, once upon a time used crystal grid. Some of you might know of this crystal grid. This might bring back some ancient memories for you today. This is good news coming onto the planet. This is all aligning since the eclipse that happened on Monday. So like I said in my previous video, we got hit with a plasma purification from that eclipse. And this is helping to reactivate our ancient crystal grid technology. So we're going to be going into what the crystal grid is if you don't know what the crystal grid is how it works and how this grid coming online is the end of the old false matrix system of control so like i said it's a huge celebration going on right now in the higher dimensional fields and i got this intel these past couple days because you guys saw my video about babylon falling and there was a lot of emotions coming up and I asked spirit, I asked my higher dimensional selves, I was like, what does this mean? I want to know the deeper meaning on what's happening on an architectural level. So you guys know me, I like studying the morphogenetic fields. I like studying the ley lines, the architecture of this planetary system. So we're going to be going in depth today, how things are shifting on this planet. So as most, most of you know, the old grid system was very toxic, right? And this was done on purpose by the Arconic controllers, okay? Uh, geoengineering with the chemtrails in the sky, the injections of heavy metals into our body, which disrupted electromagnetic signals in our neurological system, AKA creating mind control, creating cognitive dissonance and so much of our familia. So this has been controlling us for so long, these inorganic artificial frequencies. And there was so much pollution going on on this planet, okay? We had just bloodshed, density of trauma and pain held in the Earth's grid system. And then that manifested into literal pollution, trash. Look at what we see on Earth with the killing of our habitat, the coral reef, the oceans, the land itself being pillaged. This was the parasitical system that we were living in. It was toxic. It was decayed. It held dead light. So this whole grid system, in a sense, just like our own body, was not able to run these higher, frequencies, these higher frequency currents for so long. Things were malfunctioning on the planet. And so the awakening of this crystal grid system is huge for the planet. This is what's bringing back all of our ancient technology and our multidimensional abilities. And we're going to be going into why and how, because you guys know I love Ascension Science. So we're going to be going into what's happening right now with the magnetic field. So as you know, as we get these plasma infusions, these solar winds, these geomagnetic storms, they start streaming into our poles, okay? Into our dipoles, okay? These dipoles directly connect into the core of the earth. So the core of the earth actually has a direct correlation to the magnetic field, the magnetosphere. So we know that the magnetosphere is getting weaker, right? And that's a good thing because that's allowing these solar winds, these solar codes to stream in, these infusions to come in and activate our DNA and activate the grid system itself. So the weakening of the magnetic field, and this is what I was shown this week when I remote viewed into the core of the earth, was that the core, which is usually a molten lava, is actually turning a brilliant blue color, almost like that color you can see on the screen, okay? And why is it turning blue? So the reason for the blue color is we're actually having an elemental change in the core of the earth. We are having more sulfur elements coming from within the core of the earth. And the thing about sulfur and understanding sulfur is that the reason why Mars, okay, the planet Mars doesn't have a magnetic field is because it has so much sulfur in the core 
of Mars. So sulfur helps to weaken the magnetic field. That's why we're going through this sulfur alchemical process. And the amazing thing about sulfur is it's part of alchemy. Yes, sulfur is actually what created the philosopher's I can't speak right now. I'm sorry, guys. The Philosopher's Stone. So the Philosopher's Stone was actually created by mercury, salt, and sulfur. So this planet, right, it needs the highest levels of alchemy to take us from the darkest of the dark, the toxic, most decayed energy system into the new golden age, into the new earth, higher dimensional frequency. So this sulfur is part of the alchemical process happening inside of earth right now. So we have these brilliant blue colors. We can actually see some of this blue lava, okay, in Indonesia's volcano. It's so amazing. If you haven't seen Indonesia's volcano, look it up. It is so mesmerizing, that blue lava. So this sulfur currently right now is helping to activate Earth's crystal grid system, okay? So we once upon a time, like I said, used to have this crystal grid system. Some of you remember this grid system from Lemurian times, Atlantean times, and we used these crystal generators to give us free energy, to allow us access to the higher dimensional fields. That's why in those time periods, we were more in a ascended golden age because we had access to these higher frequency fields. So for a long time though, with the manipulation of the grids, and we've talked about this before via the dark ages, those crystals inside of earth, they were almost crushed. You can think of them, okay, as no energy was able to go into them they were shutting off and they were eroding inside of earth because they weren't being used. And this, I know for so many of you, when you came onto this planet, or if you have been on this planet for a long time and you relate to those timelines where we had the crystal grid, being on this grid system without this energetic system, it's been hard to navigate. I know some of you, especially as we're getting attuned to our higher sensory um, perceptions and, and feelers, we're starting to feel more. And I know some of you have felt the pain that has been stored inside of the grid. You have felt the trauma that has been stored. You have felt those crystals that have been shut down and how it's affected our own body and our own crystal heart that's been shut down, not allowing this beautiful plasmic current to flow through. It's almost like blood was taken. The life force was taken from this planet. So currently we are being infused via the plasma into the crystals and the sulfur is helping to alchemize and remove all of the pain that we have went through as a collective and help purify. This is huge what's happening right now on the planet. And so this sulfur in the planet, okay, it also creates a type of crystal. And this is what's helping to clean up the planet right now from the toxicity. There's something called copper sulfate, okay? Copper sulfate actually creates beautiful copper sulfate crystals. They're blue. When sulfur heats up, it turns a blue color. So copper sulfate, some of you might know copper sulfate, okay? Copper sulfate is used to cleanse ponds, oceans. Yes, it has the ability to cleanse bacteria, fungus in the ocean, in the waters. It also has an ability to cleanse soil. Soil, right, as we know, has been very heavily manipulated and it's been damaged via the uh, geoengineering from the chemtrails. It's been leaking into our soil, creating a toxic dump. So what this sulfur... Uh, copper sulfate is doing is it's cleansing the soil right now. It's alchemizing it into a beautiful soil to grow the new earth Edenic gardens. So amazing things right now are happening on the planet. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Just because you can't see it yet doesn't mean these things aren't happening. But here's the thing. These crystals are going to start popping up, okay? I've already had visions, and some of you remember Atlantis and Lemurian times. These crystals 
were huge. They were all over the planet. It was like you would just be walking down the street and you would just see like ginormous, almost skyscraper crystals coming out of the grid. So nothing can stop these crystals from emerging. They are in the process of emerging and this is going to shut down along with the magnetic field weakening. This is going to shut down the system. So be prepared. I'm telling you, get ready. This is not a drill. This is really happening, Familia. It is a victory. No more are we going to be controlled by these artificial frequencies. No more are we going to see our familia controlled under massive mind control. This is a big awakening happening as these old frequency fences are collapsing. And the crystal grids that are coming forward, oh my gosh, <laughs> wow, they are bringing amplitudes of energy. Because remember, they're conductors. That's what crystals are. They conduct energy. That's what your body is doing. It's conducting this electrical plasmic energy. So this is allowing for the earth to hold, to house this plasma. This plasma as well in your body is able to generate from your body holding this resonance as a pillar into the grid itself. So we're working together with the grid right now, okay, in a very, very intimate way. And we're going to be working more on Patreon on Sunday. So if any of you feel the call to work with the grid, join Sunday. We're going to be activating and going on a morphogenetic field trip. It's going to be fun. We're going to remote view and everything. So anyways, but... This grid that's coming forward, people do not know what's about to occur on this planet, okay? Okay? <sighs> it's heavenly. It's heavenly. These energies that are finally able to transmit through the grid are bringing forth the collapse of everything. We remember the satellites, the G, that is all controlled by the artificial frequencies. And that's what they were trying to create. They knew this time was coming. They knew the crystal grid was coming back online. Okay, remember, these beings have been with us since Atlantean times, since the fall of Atlantis. Okay, so they inverted the technology. We are ending those Atlantean timelines. When we got controlled, when they misused technology, just like they're doing right now. Well, the true organic technology is coming back online and it's here and it's going nowhere. They can't stop this. These crystals are too powerful and it's disengaging all forms of artificial frequencies, all forms of transhumanism that they are trying to put forth onto humanity. So, these crystals, okay, they come in many shapes, many forms. They're all over the planet. They come inside of stones. There's certain stone formations, maybe in your area. Pyramids have crystal quartz within them. There's many different portals, vortexes, nodes, ley lines on the planet that are infused. They're infused with these crystals, okay? And I know some of you, when you look back to Atlantean Lemurian times, you remember them having like a blue glow. Let me know if you guys remember the blue glow, because there's something about the blue crystal that I've always been so attracted to. And again, it's connecting to that sulfur. So this sulfur is purifying all crystals, all shapes and forms of crystals, whether they're quartz crystals, amethyst crystals inside of the earth. They are all being cleansed and alchemized. And... This purification that's happening, okay, like I said, this is going to be the cause of more outages, more things malfunctioning, okay, phones glitching, things are going to be shifting in massive ways energetically as we're taking in this new plasma, okay, so some of you during this time, you might feel called to just go within more, okay? To go within your sacred heart because your heart is being charged up currently with these higher frequencies coming from the crystal grid. I know you guys had you guys felt my heart, okay, a couple days ago. My heart was racing, okay? Some of you might be feeling that as the crystal grid is coming online. It's almost like like you can't catch your breath, okay? It's because your heart for a long time, the same thing just like the crystal grid our crystal heart, it was crushed, it was fragmented, it wasn't able to conduct and hold our eternal light body, it was decayed, 
It was black almost. And so it's being fulfilled now with its eternal life force inheritance. And this life force at first, it can feel overwhelming. It can feel heavy at first as things are clearing. That's what I was feeling after the eclipse, this heaviness, like, oh gosh, the pain was releasing. But it's clearing, beloved. But take the time right now. It's a powerful time on the planet right now to conserve your energy, okay? Like I said, people are leaving your life right now. Things are concluding since the eclipse. Massive shifts are happening in your life and you're being called to conserve your energy because when you conserve your energy and you go within, you can actually build this plasma in your body. You're not wasting it. And that's the shift from the parasitic system where we were used by people. Maybe we even used other people in a codependent way. We wasted our energy, right? I talked about how I am not on my social media right now because it felt like a drain. Okay, so right now you're being asked to conserve your energy differently because this is still a rebuilding process happening on the planet. It doesn't happen instantly. But I'm here to tell you, it's happening. It's rebuilding in the grid and it's rebuilding in your sacred crystal heart. So currently, right now, as we're being charged up with this plasma energy in the grid, okay, there's just this feeling of peace. Even though things might be coming up and surfacing, it's like you're connecting finally and you're able to connect deeper than ever before to your higher dimensional selves, that you just have this peace washing over you as you're seeing these things releasing. And it's the same as the earth and what we're witnessing with the disclosure. Yes, we're seeing the painful things. Yes, we're seeing the pedophilia get exposed. Yes, we're seeing how we were raped and pillaged and trafficked. But it's this peace that it's over that no longer are we going to be enslaved on this planet. No longer is this planet a prison planet. It is a prism of beautiful rainbow light frequencies. And so this peace, just allow it. Just allow it to overtake you during this time. This is going to bring you into homeostasis. It's like a feeling like you can finally relax. Because here's the thing. When we had these bioengineered frequencies induced into us, yes, right when we were born, via the sky, via our tap water, via our food, what happened was is our body was in a constant state of adrenal exhaustion. It's like we were constantly trying to fight off all of this stuff. I told you they tried to kill the chosen one. It's a miracle. It's a literal miracle that you were able to wake up under this level of attack on our human vessel and the planetary body. It is literally a blessing that you were able to wake up and our family is still waking up. Okay, so don't lose hope. I know some of you talk to me, you're like, I have children, they're still asleep, they're still in the matrix. I have, you know, grandparents, parents, okay? Just know as the crystal grid, you are part of anchoring in the crystal grid as a resonance pillar, as it's gonna continue to anchor and emerge out from the ground, people will start having huge realizations, like almost like one day they're asleep, the next day they're like, what happened? Because the mind control has been evaporated out with this frequency. That's what it's doing. It's buzzing it out. Are your ears ringing? Are you hearing the buzz? Are you hearing the charge? It's here. The veils are disappearing. Our family is arriving. All forms of beings are showing up as the veil, as the frequency of the crystal grid is generating out. And it's able to hold the morphogenetic fields to allow these beings to show themselves to us. So I know some of you, right, you work with these beings, the fairies, the mermaids, the unicorns, right, all different types of beings. And people may have thought you were cuckoo for coconut, okay, but these beings are coming back. These fantasy beings, right? The people that think we live in fantasy world. Well, they're going to realize fantasy world was not an illusion. Fantasy world is here and it's birthing. <sighs> so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And all of our powers are coming back, right? Because what stopped us from accessing our higher 
DNA was the collapse of the crystal grid system. So we're plugging back in and we're receiving these infusions with our consent and intent to take them in. So as we're taking them in, the communication links are fully open. Yes, we don't need G because we have 5D and above. We have instant communication and you are feeling this even though some people might be asleep around you, okay? What's happening is you're starting to communicate with these people's higher selves. We're communicating our higher selves. We're working together in the higher dimensional fields and we're just naturally starting to get the intel and the messages from others' higher selves. It's like you instantly just get this feeling like a, a ring, like a ring ring. Somebody's calling from the other side and you're answering. So during this time, just allow the magic to unleash because it's going to keep coming forward. I know there's been darkness and I know a lot of things are still ending and collapsing currently, but be open. All you have to say is yes to the magic and the magic will find you because that's what these frequencies are of the crystal grid. They hold the magic that has been gone on this planet the true magic of what this planet was meant to be. The Edenic blueprints, the keepers of the garden, like Dolores Cannon said, this was the original blueprint and it's happening as it's being re-encrypted and re-instructed in the core of the earth. So we're allowing this sulfur to cleanse us. Remember the philosopher's stone with the sulfur. What the philosopher's stone was is it transmuted the base metals into gold. So all of the metals inside of the earth, we have iron, we have nickel, okay? They are being transmuted with this sulfur, with this alchemy into pure gold for the golden age. And another thing as well is these crystals are record keepers, okay? So what's going to happen as well is as the crystal grid is awakening, things that have been wiped from our memory that we don't remember, right? We came in, we don't remember anything. And I'm not saying these things weren't meant to happen. I always want you to know that, okay? We went through amnesia. We went through this age of not remembering anything for a reason, okay? But now is the time where our memories are coming back. So what's going to happen as the crystal grid is coming back online is all of a sudden you might start getting memories. Even with the people around you, you look at someone, you're like, I remember you. I was looking at my beloved like two nights ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing all these memories of Avalon and us as elves, <laughs> right? I know some of you resonate with the elf energy. And so these memories, just allow them to come up, okay? Don't think you're making them up. Remember, when the image naturally arises into your mind, when that voice, when that signal naturally arises into your mind, it's not coming from nowhere. And as the crystal grid is coming online, we are becoming crystal clear of what is coming from within and what has been coming from outside that has been interfering, okay? So we're going into that zero point of no time. That's what the crystal grid is bringing, is that zero point neutrality to be able to observe and decide what we want to hold to amplify in our own crystal pillar resonance chamber. Because what you hold during this time, beloved, is going to amplify, whether that's positive or negative. So be very crystalline clear, just like a crystal. You're going to absorb and you're going to amplify these energies out into the field. So that's why we are being aligned fully to our sacred crystal heart to create this beautiful electromagnetic field. The heart, the, that's why the crystal heart is so important. Unfortunately, that's why it was crushed for so long was so that we wouldn't create that electromagnetic field of pure healing. You are in itself a crystal. You are in itself part of the crystal grid system. So as we connect to our heart, as we be more loving with our intentions, our words, what we are creating and manifesting with our intention and our words and our emotion, the more we assist in the collapse of the old grid system. This is why you came here, beloved. This is part of our mission. Whether you relate to being a grid worker or not, I'm here to tell you 
If you are here for the ascension, you are naturally a grid worker. And sometimes it doesn't make sense why you're in certain places. Currently, I'm in Revelstoke, Canada. I'm still in the hotel. My husband's on a work trip here. And I'm just like, why am I here? Like, I'm looking out there. It's been cloudy for a whole week. I haven't seen the sun, okay? I'm like, my makeup's not matching my body, okay? <laughs> I've not seen the sun. And it's cold, okay? And I'm like, I don't really understand, like, how did I end up here? But I know I'm here to be this crystalline grid in this specific area. And it's crazy how when you move areas, you just naturally start align aligning to people. Like a lot of the people I've been connecting with, a lot of them are from Canada. It's, it's so crazy how that works. So we actually work together in soul groups in these specific areas. And when we connect, when we communicate, we actually help to amplify the energy. So shout out to all of my Canadian familia. We're doing it. We're amplifying, especially y'all already know in Canada, the cuckoo stuff going on here. Okay we really need the strong ones. So if you're in the places where it's heavily dense and I know you can feel it, okay, shout out to you because that means you're strong enough to hold that pillar in that specific area. You won't collapse under the artificial frequency. See, some people, they can't handle it, okay? They really can't. It, get, it gets overwhelming and they shut down and that's okay if that's you. Some people are more sensitive than others and they're like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And sometimes I'm like, I need a break. Like, take me away. At least when I'm out here, there's no um, signal. Like I can literally drive five minutes and there'll be no signal. So that's the good thing. I really, really enjoy um, this area and I'm grateful. But y'all know, y'all know how I feel about the sun. I'm like, I need the tropical um, equator energy. But anywho, anywho. So with the, the copper sulfate, remember as well, okay, the copper sulfate, if you just are coming in, the copper sulfate, okay, is starting to alchemize in the core of the earth. It's weakening the magnetic field. That's why Mars has no sulfur on it. I mean, has sulfur on it an extreme amount and has no magnetic field. Okay, so the copper sulfate, remember, copper is the most conductive material. Why do you think the Statue of Liberty, right, had the plasma going through it? Because it's heavily conductive. So that's why this copper sulfate is needed. That's why this sulfur is needed right now. That's why we're being infused with it because it's helping conduct this plasma, okay, in the earth. So just know during this time period, no matter what's happening, the agendas, the shenanigans of the archonic forces, they can't stop this. They can't stop mother nature, okay? And this heating up that we're feeling is part of the process. The earth is heating up and it's for this reason. Your body is heating up. Even right now, I'm heating up, okay? So you're heating up from the inside out, okay? Sometimes you can feel like you're burning, okay? Remember, we always talk about detoxification. It's not about judgment. It's not about, oh, I'm going to judge you if you eat in a certain way. It's literally understanding how light body mechanics works. And when you're heavily acidic, dehydrated because you're eating dehydrating foods, okay, acidic foods, okay, your body can't conduct this electricity. You're going to have a much harder time during this ascension process if you're not taking in hydrating foods, okay? Remember, hydrating foods going to be like coconut water, H3O2 from fruit. That's going to help hydrate your cells so that they can conduct this electricity, so that you don't feel severe ascension symptoms right now because I'm here to tell you it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get more intense as we're in the solar maximum this year. So please, Familia, please amp up the hydration. Water is amazing. I already told you if you can get a spring, amazing. If not, get some coconut water, okay? I know it's expensive sometimes, but it's worth it. Okay, another weird thing, okay? Remember, they tell us the truth in the movies. And I put this on Patreon. I did a whole post. If you like to read, okay, and you like more in-depth information, join the Patreon because I put blog posts out. So the blog post I put out today um, was about this Disney movie, okay? Or I think it's a TV show. It's called Secrets of the Sulphur Springs, okay? Remember, they have to tell us. Remember Disney? the spellcasters, the dark sorcerers, okay? So they were telling us in that TV show about the Sulphur Springs. And in the movie, Secrets of the Sulphur Springs, the children, they end up going to the Sulphur Springs and they find this blue crystal. 
And the blue crystal has the ability to create eternal life. It actually heals one of the members, Grace, from what she was told was an incurable disease. It healed her body. It prolonged life. Okay? They tell you the truth. Again, in the movies. So they're telling you about the sulfur. I always say as well, if you can get into a sulfur spring, get into it, please. I know it's getting closer to, to summer, but if you can get anywhere where you can get in that sulfur rich mineral spring, it will help your light body so much. It'll help alchemize. See, the thing about sulfur is yes, sulfur is acidic. Okay. It is an acidic element. I know I talk a lot about alkalinity and keeping the body alkaline, but we need the fire just as much. Just like the solar radiation is acidic, it's a purifier. So some of you right now, okay, you might have experienced like when you ate too much food, okay, and then all of a sudden you start getting sulfur burps. Oh gosh, those are the worst. When you burp and it just smells like rotten egg, okay? There was a time period, this was actually at the beginning of my journey about like two years ago, where I was eating a lot because a lot of pain was coming up. So I was pushing it down a lot with heavy food and I would get these sulfur burps like all the time. Like it was happening all the time. There was times where I had such severe pain in my solar plexus that I was like hurled over in pain. So some of you might be experiencing this during the ascension, during this sulfuric alchemical process happening right now. And so just know this is normal. That means what that sulfur is doing in your body right now is it's burning karmic imprints, okay? It's burning a lot of density in your body. So don't be afraid, okay? If you start having some of the, those sulfur burps, okay? If you start feeling kind of a fire in your solar plexus, that's just that sulfur element, that fiery element burning and clearing, transmuting, alchemizing all the pain so that you can move into your higher dimensional body, okay? That's lighter and that's like, Woo, everything is getting better. Not all oh, life is so hard, right? You're feeling like, wow, I can get through today, right? <laughs> so we're starting to feel that feeling like we can, we can make it, right? We can make it, even though I know sometimes you're exhausted. Okay, it's, no, it's normal right now to feel extremely exhausted as your body's going through this process, okay? It's rearranging, yes. I'm sorry to tell you, but those heavy metals that they were pumping into us, they were literally eating your neurons. Yes, okay? So if you're having headaches right now, that's literally your brain creating new neuroplasticity because your neurons were literally eaten from the heavy metals, okay? That's how deep the rabbit hole goes. So your brain is literally being rewired and that neuroplasticity is happening and it's changing the way that you see the world. It's changing the way that you see yourself. You're seeing the interconnectedness of all, of the one. You're seeing yourself as a true divine being, not a shameful, disgusting being. You're seeing yourself as beauty, as divine perfection that you have always been. But the blinders, AKA the heavy metals, AKA the artificial frequencies, the mind control is coming off. And it's like you're seeing yourself and you're seeing the world and you're seeing others almost like for the very first time through the eyes of your sacred crystal heart. So I'm calling all of the priests and the priestesses. You know who you are. If you feel called to join Sunday for our crystal grid activation, remote viewing. I'm just going to be guiding you. You, the thing is, is you already know what to do. A lot of you, some of you have just forgotten. So I'm going to be guiding us as a group um, to work with the crystal grid, get healing. If you've been experiencing some densities coming up, some pain, okay, this will bring a lot of healing to your light body and your physical body layers. So we're going to be doing that on Patreon. Link is in the description on donation basis. Like I, I give so much in that Patreon. I take hours and hours and hours of my time creating meditations, creating blog posts. Um, and so it's really, in my opinion, it's almost for free. It's practically for free. So um, join us. We need more of us working together, okay? This was all written. So if you feel called, link is in the description. 
If you feel called to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, my website is up. Remember, I don't have my social media accounts right now. I'm feeling called to hold that energy right now um, and not let energy leaks happen right now. And that unfortunately can be with uh, the social networks, right? That's kind of why some of it has been created to drain us. So again, it's just about balance. I'm not saying it's it's all bad, just balance it. Um, but if you feel called to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, link is in the description. I also do hypnotherapy uh, to help heal you on all levels and layers within your light body, as well as detox coaching. If you are suffering or struggling with any of the diseases, okay, I'm here to be of assistance and help you to detox, okay? This is Ascension Detox, so this isn't just a normal detox program that I put you on. So thank you guys so much for watching. The Crystal Grid is coming online, okay? Just get ready. More stuff is coming out. It's only gonna get weirder in the hologram. So the Crystal Grid, we are thanking it. Thank you, Crystal Grid. Thank you for coming online. Thank you, Plasma. Thank you, Aurora, for streaming in and giving us this plasma frequency. We are so thankful to the sun, to the guardians for being here, for hosting this planet and this ascension. And we will continue on, onwards and upwards into the higher dimensional fields. Have a beautiful day, familia. Namaste.